welcome to today's episode of the Writer's Anointing Show. I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. So the month of December, I'm calling it Come Read With Me. Today I'm going to read a little bit from my book, Living Our Theology. Welcome. jump right in. So I'm reading from chapter 2, page 13. And this is called, the chapter is called Liberty Defined, Holding On to Your Liberty. It is for freedom, liberty, that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, therefore, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Galatians 5 and 1, the NIV version. Liberty means you are free. You have been emancipated. When a person is in prison, they are ruled by those in authority over them. When they are set free, the rulers no longer have the same authority over them, directing them and telling them what to do. The person that has been set free must learn to live a life no longer as a prisoner. This this freedom spoken of here in this scripture refers to being free from sin. You were once a prisoner to sin. And you couldn't do anything contrary to the authority over you, a sinful nature. When Jesus paid the price for your sins and you received his pardon, he set you free from sin's control. You no longer have to live in sin and be entangled with the bondage that keeps you held down. You can stand in freedom and you have been the freedom you have been given. Think about freedom. You can have freedom from the sins which also affects your actions, your decisions, and everything about you. You can be free from a sinful thought process. You can have the mind of Christ when you accept his gift of salvation, which sets you free from sin's control. You no longer have to sin, but you can now strive to walk holy before the Lord. You can be free from making sinful decisions. You can be free to follow the Holy Spirit daily in all things you do. Be careful because as soon as you allow sin's ugly head to come back into your life, you will begin to walk again in that way, which will entangle you, thus causing you to lose the liberty you have been given. Who wants to be held down by the heavy weights of sin's choice and behavior? We do not want to be absent from God's presence because of unwise decisions. We do not want to be paupers in joy, peace, and the abundance of God because we have been given because we have given up our place of royalty for a place of a slave. If we have been set free, then why do we continue to follow unrighteousness? If we have been set free, why do we live as a slave without access to the king's provisions? We need God's help to live the life of freedom that has been granted unto us. Thank you for joining me today. It's my Read It Month. And I just want to encourage you to join me by getting one of um, my books. Or This book was Living Our Theology. And you can find it on my website, publishdivision.com. And this month only, I am taking 10% off all books. And if you use the the code BOOKLOVER2020, that's in all caps, BOOKLOVER2020 at checkout, you can get that discount. And also, if you are looking and interested in publishing, need a coach, then let's talk. You can reach me at Dr. Jewel Williams at PublishDivision.com. And as I always say, until next time, let's go writing. Bless you.